Hello students. Under the topic linear equations with regular singular points, here we have an important theorem. Find all the solutions of the Euler equation. So first we should know what is an Euler equation. A second order equation having a regular singular points at the origin is called the Euler equation. And it is given by L of y equal to x squared y double dash plus a x y dash plus b y equal to 0. So now we can understand that the regular singular points are at the origin. And already we have seen the definition of singular points and regular singular points in our previous videos. Uh, so now we shall uh, find the solutions of this equation. We shall now mark this as Roman letter 1, equation Roman letter 1. Now we have to find the solutions of this equation. To find the solutions, we consider two cases. First case will be when this x is greater than 0. What kind of solution do we arrive at? And the second case will be when x is lesser than 0. What is the type of solution that we arrive at? And then we combine these two and we form a generalized solution. So let us see each cases one by one now. First we shall consider case 1 where x is greater than 0. So now in the first case let x be greater than 0. So if x is greater than 0 let us put, let us put the value of y in this equation to be equal to x to the power r. So now this let this be a solution of this equation. Then it means that it satisfies this equation. So what will be y dash here? y dash is equal to r x to the power r minus 1. And y double dash will be equal to r multiplied with r minus 1 x to the power r minus 2. So now we shall substitute all these three in this uh, equation, Roman letter 1. So our L of y, that is, what is y? x power r. So L of x power r will turn out to be x squared multiplied with y double dash, that is, r multiplied with r minus 1, x to the power r minus 2, plus a x multiplied with y dash, y dash is r x to the power r minus 1 plus b y. So b multiplied with x to the power r is equal to 0. So from this we obtain, when we multiply this x squared inside we get r multiplied with r minus 1 x to the power, the powers gets added up and we get x power r plus a and then uh, this x gets multiplied with x power r minus 1. So we get a r x to the power r plus b x to the power r equals 0. So now we can take x power r in common. So we will be getting r multiplied with r minus 1 plus a r plus b and x to the power r which I have taken common for all the three terms is equal to 0. Now we are going to express this quadratic equation as q of r. So from this we get q of r multiplied with x to the power r is equal to 0. Uh, now we know that x is greater than 0. With, so it is not equal to 0. Then it's definitely q of r has, has to be equal to 0. So from this we get what is q of r? r into r minus 1 plus a r plus b. Okay, so from this we get q of r to be equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. So it will have two roots. So let r1 and r2 be two roots of the quadratic equation q of r. If r1 and r2 are two roots, then we have q of r1 to be equal to 0 and q of r2 is equal to 0. So if we consider L of r power so L of x power r1 from this it, it will be equal to q of r1 
multiplied with x to the power r1 and q of r1 is equal to 0 therefore it will be equal to 0 and therefore it implies that x power r1 is a solution of l of y in a similar manner l of x power r2 will be equal to q of r2 multiplied with x power r2 equal to 0 q of r2 is equal to 0 because of that this expression turns out to be 0 therefore x power r2 is also a solution of l of y equal to 0 so now uh, these two solutions we will consider this as phi 1 and this as phi 2 so phi 1 of x and phi 2 of x be the solution of l of y equal to 0 so phi 1 of x will be x power r1 and phi 2 of x will be x power r2 if r1 is not equal to r2 that is they both are distinct roots then the solution remains the same but if r1 is equal to r2 that is q of r equal to 0 will have two equal roots so r1 is the root of q of r equal to 0 of multiplicity 2 so in that case we will be having different solution so let us see that now so when q of r equal to 0 is of multiplicity 2 that is the roots of q of r equal to 0 is of multiplicity 2 then from the theory of equations we have uh, by a theorem which says that if x is equal to alpha is a double root of the polynomial f of x equal to 0 then f of alpha will be equal to 0 and also f dash of alpha will be equal to 0 so using this we can say that now here the polynomial is q of r1 so q of r1 will be equal to 0 and also q uh, dash of r1 will also be equal to 0 so let us mark this as equation 2 previously we got l of r to be equal to q of r x power r right kindly mark it as equation 1 and this is equation 2 okay so now we consider l of do by do r of x power r so now here we are differentiating x power r with respect to r so for example if t is taken as x to the power r dt by dr will be equal to differentiating x power r with respect to r so that will be this will be it has to be r is in the power so we should first take the logarithm and then differentiate it so this will become log t equal to r log x okay so now after that we have to differentiate log t the differentiation of log t will be 1 by t and then dt by dr is equal to differentiation of r is 1 and log x will be treated as constant so you have a log x here so what will be uh, dt by dr so dt by dr will be equal to t log x but what is t t we have taken as x power r so x power r log x so this will be equal to l of x to the power r log x now what we have to do we have to substitute x power r log x in l of y equal to 0 that is this uh, l of y that is this polynomial so in this we have to substitute x power r log x so wherever we have y in that place we have to substitute x power r log x so if you see here here we have y double dash here we have y dash and here we have y so we have to substitute in that equation for which we will consider this to be w first so it will be equal to l of w so that will be equal to instead of y we have to replace it by w so it will be x squared w da, uh, double dash plus a x w dash plus b w so now we shall find w dash and w double dash and substitute here so that will be equal to so let this be as it is first we will write what is w w is x power r log x so let us differentiate this first so w dash we are differentiating with respect to x so uv method we have to apply here so it will be x to the power r differentiation of log x is 1 by x plus log x uh, differentiation of x power r is r 
with that we can write here multiplied with x to the power of r minus 1 so what will be our double dash it will be equal to so raising this to the power numerator it will become x power minus 1 so the power of x will be r minus 1 plus uh, here we have r log x x to the power of r minus 1 so now we have to find w double dash so w double dash will be equal to now when we differentiate this we get r minus 1 x to the power of r minus 2 plus r multiplied with now here we have to apply uv method so uh, first of all we will have x bar r minus 1 as it is and the differentiation of log x is 1 by x plus log x we shall have it as it is and the differentiation of uh, x power r minus 1 is r minus 1 multiplied with x to the power of r minus 2. So on simplifying this what do we get? So we have that to be equal to let's multiply this r with this x power r minus 2 minus x power r minus 2 plus r multiplied with x to the power of this uh, when it goes to the numerator it turns out to be negative 1 so x to the power of r minus 2 and then plus uh, here again we have logarithm so we can we can just have this as r multiplied with r minus 1 log x multiplied with x to the power r minus 2 now uh, combining these two we can write it as uh, 2 r okay 2 r x to the power of r minus 2 minus x to the power of r minus 2 plus r multiplied with r minus 1 log x x to the power of r minus 2 we shall now substitute this is w double dash and then this is w dash and then here we have w we can substitute w w dash and w double dash in this equation now so uh, finally this will be equal to so we will write that now so now i have substituted w double dash w dash and w here so now we can simplify by multiplying this x squared within uh, this inside within the bracket so what do we get is so finally after multiplying multiplying and uh, simplifying it and then taking the term x bar r common we arrive at this we can observe that what is this actually so in the beginning we have told about q of r so q of r we have taken to be r multiplied with r minus 1 plus a r plus b so this is q of r and if this is q of r what is this so if you check it out now if you see q from this we have q of r to be equal to we can simplify and write it as r squared minus r plus a r plus b so what will be q dash of r from this it will be 2 r okay and then minus 1 plus a plus b so now if you see here on just a minute here um 2r minus 1 plus a and b when differentiated it will be 0 because it's a constant it will become 0 so 2r minus 1 plus a so this 2r minus 1 plus a is q dash of r so therefore we can write l of x to the power r log x is equal to this is q dash of r plus q of r log x multiplied with x to the power r let us mark this as equation 3 in particular when r is equal to r1 what do we have l of x to the power r1 log x is equal to q dash of r1 okay, q dash of r1 plus q of r1 log x multiplied with x to the power of r1 now what is q dash of r1 previously from equation 2 we have shown here that q dash of r1 is 0 and q of r1 is also 0 so using this over here this will turn out to be 0 as well as this is 0 so when multiplied with 0 this full term becomes 0 and the complete right hand side turns out to be 0 which implies that l of x to the power r1 
log x is equal to 0. Therefore, x power r1 log x becomes a root of L of y equal to 0 when r1 is equal to r2. So, let us conclude it now. So, therefore, when the two roots are equal, then the one of the solution is x power r1 and the other solution is x power r1 log x. This is the case when x is greater than 0. So, the first case that we considered as x is greater than 0 and we obtained the solution that is one of the uh, when the roots are distinct we obtained the solution to be this that is one of the solution is x power r1 another solution is x power r2 when r1 is not equal to r2 we obtained this solution and when r1 is equal to r2 that is they, if they are repeated roots then one of the solution is x power r1 and the other solution is x power r1 log x. Now in a similar manner we have to do for case 2 that is when r is lesser than 0. So let us see that now. So now in case 2 we consider x to be lesser than 0. We can also take this as negative x greater than 0. So once we take this as greater than 0 we can proceed in the same way how we proceeded in case 1. So we consider y to be equal to negative x power r. And then we uh, find the first differentiation of y and then the second differentiation. And then we considered L of y equal to this. Now because y satisfies this equation on substituting y equal to negative x power r in place of uh, y. We get this to be equal to x squared multiplied with y double dash plus ax multiplied with y dash and plus by equal to 0. On simplifying this we get in this form. We see that uh, here we have uh, negative 1 power r and when this x, x squared is multiplied within the bracket we get x power r. So combining those two we can write it as negative x power r. Similarly in the other two also. So like in the previous one we have taken negative x power r common and this fully we consider it to be the uh, to be q of r. So, we write it as q of r multiplied with minus x power r equal to 0. So, again following the steps as we did in case 1, we get uh, dou, r, dou by dou r of uh, negative x power r to be equal to negative x power r log of negative x. So, now L of this will be considered and so uh, since uh, negative x is greater than 0 like we have considered in case 1. Uh, we get when r1 and r2 are the roots of q of r equal to 0 and when r1 is not equal to r2 that is they are distinct roots then the solutions are given by negative x power r1 negative x power r2 if they are say uh, that is uh, equal roots then it is negative x power r1 negative x power r1 log of negative x it is same as it is uh, how we have uh, how we got in case 1 we, uh, we obtain in the similar manner Combining the above two cases that is case 1 and case 2. In case 1 it was x greater than 0. In case 2 it was x lesser than 0. So we found that uh, we found two different solutions and combining that we can write it as phi 1 of x as modulus of x power r1 modulus of x power r2. When r1 is not equal to r2 that is they are distinct roots. And when the roots are equal then we can write it as modulus of x power r1 and modulus of x power r1 log x log of modulus of x this also should be modulus so where r1 and r2 are the roots of the quadratic equation q of r equal to r into r minus 1 plus a r plus b now we have to note that this q of r equal to 0 is called the indicial polynomial of the euler equation so this is uh, this may come under two uh, two marks so it's an uh, important thing to remember so the indicial polynomial of the euler equation so therefore we have found the solutions of the Euler equation in two different cases when the roots are distinct and when the roots are equal. So hope you have understood how to find the solution of the second order Euler equation. Thank you.